And what you find when you look at that subset of patients is that they have a 30% likelihood of being on the autism spectrum. Talk about capacity for being misled by social signals and things like that. It makes a lot of sense because autistic kids have a number of issues that feed in really neatly to being answered by a trans identity. If you struggle socially, you are a target for this. They don't get along very well in, in a neurotypical and non-autistic society as far as how to relate to other people, how to get other people to like you, how to have conversations that flow well. And so they already feel at odds with other people. Trans comes along and says, oh, you don't fit in with other people because you're not actually the biological sex you think you are, you're, you're trans. There was all of this marketing towards me as someone who had never heard of that and a lot of different things fed into it. I'm autistic, so I've never really been that good at like talking to people and that kind of thing. I had a few very close friends, but like not a really large friend group. They also have very strong black and white thinking. Autistic people tend to zero in on one thing. And once they've made a decision, they're very black and white about that. I have given this lots of thought. I have made this decision this is the way it is and it's very hard to change their minds. It is easy for them to really get sucked into this ideology and not be able to think nuanced and think outside of this gender ideology box. You've got social media, you've got the entertainment industry, you've got the GSA club at school, you've got all of these factors telling these autistic kids, oh, you're trans, and the kids are thinking about it and they're not necessarily talking to their parents because that's another feature of autism is there a lot in their heads and they're not necessarily verbally processing that with their parents. And so they spend all this time thinking about it, they make this decision and that black and white thinking really cements them there. So the combination of feeling out of place and struggling socially, and also kind of having the type of brain where they focus on one thing, I think that's how they get sucked into becoming trans.